So we are the four time world champion. Just kidding. So today we're gonna be making a custom title banner tutorial again. All right, so first download back as mine. Go to the website, go to download. Now after that, you're gonna hit plugins. Now you're gonna search. It's already there. Alpha console for backers mod. Now you're going to install it with backers mod. Now you're going to load up your Rocket League game. Press F5. So it's going to be FN on your keyboard and then you're going to press 5 to open up alpha console. Now you're going to see banner texture mods. You're going to open the directory. Now that we know we downloaded alpha console and backers mod correctly, we can then go into Photoshop. Now, if you don't got Photoshop, you can always type in photop.com. And this is literally Photoshop online. Now, when you create a new document, you're going to do width 420, you know, be like 420 and then height 100 resolution. I don't really 72. We're going to put on 72. This is going to be your blank canvas for your banners. So look, your browser is going to be your best friend. If you got to look up ways of how to do certain things in photo P or Photoshop. This is it. It's also where you're going to find your banners. So all you got to type in is Rocket League banners. That's it. All right. You can make your own banner. If you would like, you can always just use a rectangular tool right here. And literally use it to create your banners and do any designs that you want. Okay. So when you look it up, you go to images. There's other things that you can look on here. Some have names on them. You can even do like these. We're going to go with a blank one. So we're going to use these three banners right here. You can either save the image, save it to your computer or copy image. All right. Sometimes if it has a transparent background and you copy the image in Photoshop, the background's black and it might do stuff to the banner. So we're just going to copy the image since this is filled in white and we're just going to paste it. All right size it down to where we're like there we go so we're gonna do the bird first <laughs> we're gonna do the four time world champion title that turbo has so size it the way that you would like we'll do it about there kind of make it a little bit lower just so when you equip the banner it's not higher than your profile pic, if that makes sense. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just use, I forget what this is called, quick selection tool to just select, make sure you're clicked on the layer, but we're going to do it to where we're going to just select the banner. All right. Make sure it's good. It's not like this or some, some stuff like that. Make sure it's even everything like that so we'll hit Control z to go back make sure all right so what you're going to do now is select and mask all right so right here make sure when you're doing this you see how it's kind of i don't know if you can see it on the video but it's kind of like transparent right here so we're going to take the contrast turn all the way up so now it's filled all right just make sure there's nothing else showing looking good so we're going to output to new layer okay hit okay so now we got a banner. Okay. Now we just need to do the title. So you're going to hit text and then the font that I use, I know a lot of people have been asking about this. I use Franklin Gothic medium condense. Okay. All right. That's what I use. Some people have better fonts that they use. This is the one I use. So now you're just going to click on the banner with your text. And there you go. So now you're going to type in anything you want. We're going to do the four time world champion. So we're going to do four time world champion. And also to look exactly how it is, you're just going to type in rocket league titles. You're going to do fathom. I think it's called, but you're going to click on title slash esports. And these are all the titles that I think are in the game. Like RLCS wise, there might be more. This might be outdated, but you can always try to mask these and put them on, but sometimes it doesn't work because of the, re the resolution. But so we're just going to look at for inspiration. So right here, four time world champion. So it's all capitalized and there's a dash between the four and the T. So that's what we're going to do Four dash time. Make sure it's capitalized world champion. All right. So what I just did it stopped recording, but I pressed control T and then unlinked see where it kind of looks like a link here so i unlink pretty much the sizing 
to where it's not highlighted and you can literally stretch it as you want since it was like kind of stretch what we did was we lowered it a little bit to where it kind of looks normal for the for the title and then now again it's not gonna be perfect you're gonna have to you're gonna have to switch them around stretch them to where you're gonna like stretch them to your liking okay and then now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add effects you're gonna hit fx right here in photoshop i think on photo p i think it's like ce or cff or something like that but you're gonna do color overlay all right and how we get the color is pretty much you're gonna copy you could screenshot this and uh paste it in here or we're gonna be using this picture and we're gonna drag it in let me cancel that we're gonna drag it in here so we can have a close-up of the color and again we're gonna use fx on the text color overlay click the box use our eye dropping tool to kind of click inside the color and that's how you do the first color and then it has an outer glow so what we're going to do as well is we're going to hit fx again and then have it as an outer glow all right and again i use seven as a size for pixels um but again you're gonna if you want to like see how it's similar you you're gonna click again the the white or the like light blue and then it should already kind of point you towards that direction and then it looks a little bit more blue so we're gonna add more blue into it so yeah it looks like that right there all right and again you can always stop the video look at my hex code and everything like that but yeah we're gonna make it we're gonna make it that way let me i didn't press okay there we go yeah about right there so we hit okay make sure everything's good hit okay and then now we're gonna hide this and it looks pretty good on our uh, on our banner and again you'll be able to pretty much transform this um because 99 like i said before 99.9 percent .9 of the time this your first time doing banners isn't going to line up with your name all right some people have clan text some people don't some people have long names uh so you it's going to be trial and error okay so don't close your photo p or photoshop after you export the file and look in game because most of the time you're gonna have to switch this around all right but so what we're gonna do is i put it right here because i've been doing it for a long time so this is kind of like the ballpark i would say of where my name ends off uh kind of lowered it a little bit as well because you have to have uh, no title equipped when um when you're putting on a custom banner so what we're gonna do here is again like i said before the game's shading makes everything darker so what we think is looks good right here so let me let me do that too as well we're gonna put this a little bit more brighter yeah so about right here is a hex cube or a little bit more neon blue or greener turquoise <laughs> we hit okay on that we're gonna hit Control j to kind of duplicate or duplicate the layer okay but we're gonna click on the effects of the top create layers so it gives us so it kind of separates the effects and we're gonna delete the color fill and the text of the second duplicate and then we're gonna move the outer glow down to where it's behind the first layer and with the fill we're gonna change the fill so it's not that bright because we don't want it to be that bright and look very uh fake <laughs> but the kind of like the middle line is like 65 for me that's kind of like the sweet spot for me you can always change it but yeah again it looks bright but in game is going to kind of dilate a little bit darker so it looks good right there again what i'll do here is i'll make it a little bit more i'm gonna erase it make it a little bit more kind of like greener because again like i said before it's gonna make it's gonna make it darker so we want we want to be prepared for that so again control j 
create the layers backspace on those layers and then fill 65 so yeah looks pretty good to me looks pretty good to me so this is basically it all right and again you can always change it around as well um but after that what we're gonna do is pretty much like i said before when you go into rocket league and you have the uh you open the directory for your banners make sure to bookmark this okay so that or make sure to pin this in your documents so it's easy for you to access you can see that I have ac plugin already pinned to where i can any if i do decals banners i just have to click i don't have to go digging or go in that open directory and dig through it all so yeah make sure you pin that okay um but yeah when, when you hit ac plugin go to banner texture mods this is where you're going to export your file so again I already made one it's uh this one right here and you see very similar um this one might be a little bit bigger so what we'll do here is uh select both of them and kind of link it to where it's the same sizing so it's not stretching anymore kind of there we go kind of kind of make it a little bit smaller uh see how it looks on here yeah it's a little bit smaller than your name so we'll do that and then again like i said with the shading it's gonna make everything darker so you're gonna add a new adjustment layer and it's gonna be brightness and contrast all right we're gonna put that baby up to like like 86 or somewhere around there right here what i did before is i did at 98 and then did the contrast negative 50 so we'll do the same here so negative 50 and then about 90 we'll do like 81 okay and again this is the same thing i did the only difference i did here because i saw that the i saw that the uh kind of like uh line here was a little bit fatter than where it was right here so what i did see is how it's kind of skinnier what I did was just I put a square. I did like a rectangle here, added it in. You could see it right here. If I hide it, if I hide it, see how it's very skinny. But yeah, so that's what I did for this one. But other than that, same thing. Same thing that we did. All right. So yeah, that's a note that you got to do is Dating. Remember, everything's going to be darker than what you're seeing in Photoshop. So, yeah. All right. So, since we already did that, what we're going to do is just close that um, since we already did this one. So, what you're going to do is when you have your banner already, you're going to hit File, Export, Quick Export as PNG, and then you can all this is what i do okay just so that you're not messing up your texture package because a lot of people are they saying i'll, I'll show y'all how to fix that but just overwrite either your xbox ps1 ps4 steam any of those save it and replace it okay and all you have to do is equip the xbox banner and it shows up for you if you have a lot of banners or if you want to make new banners Name it to whatever you want. So we can do four time. Make sure there's no space. Four time. We'll save it. All right. So now what we're going to do is go to our documents, banner textures. And then with the texture package, you're going to right click it, go to properties, and make sure the attributes, make sure read only is unchecked. Okay. Make sure it's unchecked. So it might be like that. Make sure it's unchecked. Hit apply. Okay. Okay. That's gonna be your probably your fix for if you if it says you can't edit with a notepad. But once you do that, you're gonna hit right click or yeah, right click and then edit. And then it should pop up with a notepad or wherever you wherever you have. So again, how this will work is it'll pretty much look exactly like this 
all right probably will do something like that so what you want to do is copy the xbox from bracket comma all the way down to the end of this uh parentheses right here control c to copy press enter to kind of uh to go to the next line press control v and then make sure you gotta make sure because this is probably why it says invalid texture for most of y'all you gotta make sure the brackets are all lined up together you see how it's all in the line all the way to the end and make sure that you have closed brackets at the end too as well all right if you erased it and it's still not working you might just have to re-download alpha console or um redo your files for uh your banner textures but this is if you do exactly like this literally exactly like it i know a lot of y'all say y'all do it like it but if y'all didn't like it y'all want to have the invalid texture <laughs> like i'll show you right now okay so if i do something like this right if i like race this i only i only have uh like these three here with no closed brackets and i hit save what's gonna happen in rockley is it's gonna say invalid texture file okay same thing if you erase it all hit save refresh it it's gonna still say invalid texture files all right so make sure literally pause the video if you have to all right pause the video if you have to but you gotta make sure all these so there's a bracket all these brackets right here are aligned you have these closed brackets there's nothing missing right here you even see how there's make sure it's exactly like what it was before so comma or bracket comma parentheses whatever your name is or the name of your file whatever the name of your file is has a little uh comma right here in this section you gotta make sure this is exactly the same all right <laughs> Or it's gonna say invalid texture and again if you say you did exactly like it but it still says invalid texture then you probably didn't do it right it wouldn't just say that just say it okay so yeah so again like i said before it's gonna look exactly like this so you're gonna copy the last banner which is the xbox from the bracket parentheses you're gonna copy it again enter to go to the next line paste it with control v space it to where it's all is aligned and this is going to be called four time so we're going to do four time and again not changing anything i literally just erased xbox put four time okay it has a parentheses has everything there for the diffuse this is very important this is why I said no space when you um, when you do the PNG. So whatever you name your banner, like in your files, that's exactly how you're gonna put it in the diffuse. But you're just gonna do dot PNG after because it's a PNG. We exported it as a PNG. All right, and that's all you have to do. And again, same thing like we do it again hit enter control v space it out make sure it's aligned it, it looks like it's aligned this is uh we'll do the sinks right here s y and x okay what what do we name it in our files sinks so we're gonna do s y and x dot p and g and now we got the closed brackets we're gonna hit file we're gonna hit save then after that we're gonna do we're gonna minus that minimize excess 
F5 again. So now it says invalid texture means it honestly it's because of this. Let me see here. It's honestly because we have Opsium 1, Opsium 2, and 3. And the texture package is trying to read these. So we'll just move these to the downloads. All right. So now we got everything. Everything should be there. Everything is in our texture package. So if it's not, if it shouldn't be there, don't put it in there. If you're going to put it in your file, make sure you put it in your texture package as well. We're going to minimize that. Refresh it. Put it back to default. Refresh it again. So now we looking good. All right. Doesn't say invalid texture. Click on four time. I had to move my face cam, but there you go. That's literally the four time world champion banner. All right. If you want to see again how it looks in game, go to your free training. Um, turn enable goal scoring on. And now when we score a goal, this is how it looks. All right. And again, you can always mess around with it. Um, we're probably going to make it a little bit lighter in the background because it kind of looks more blue. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how you make a custom title banner. And hopefully I answered most of your questions uh, again. Just Google stuff. Um, if you have a question about how to add this in the photo P, how, how to add this in the Photoshop, pretty much, um, just Google. That's what I did. Um, but again, uh, if y'all have any questions, I'll try my best to respond to y'all in the discord. And again, I'll make some more banners for y'all as well. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoy speaking of scoring goals. I tried to score a hundred thousand points in just one rocket league game. Y'all go check that out and I'll see y'all there.